Hello and welcome to Beaver Bushcraft and Leather. My name is Mark and today we'll be making the pocket tinderbox pouch. I'll be using tiger thread at 0.8 millimeter and doing it with cross stitching rather than saddle stitching. The pouch is designed to house the pocket tinderbox. Uh, this is just a sneak preview. Uh, I'm taking out sulfur matches there and you could see the flint and steel below that. I'll make another video about this very shortly. Okay, so now we come to punch out the holes. Uh, we can use any one of the tools that I've shown here. Uh, this is a one millimeter single hole punch. Uh, the next tool is a two hole punch, uh, five millimeter spacing, one millimeter hole, and this one is eight hole punch at five millimeter spacing. All of the holes that you can see printed on the leather are one millimeter and they're five millimeter spacing, so the tools should completely line up. The board, as you can see, is an old board because when you punch through, what will happen is it goes straight through the leather and it will make little round holes in anything that it's uh, resting against, like your table. So as you can see here, I kind of use a nylon cutting board, um, especially for punching holes. A handy little tip here is to always put the first time through the last hole and that way it will always line up with the previous set of holes that you've just punched. I'm acting surprised but I know I'm not over you I keep missing a fight even though there's over Okay, so now that we've punched our holes out, what we need to do now is cut out the leather. For this, we will use a good sharp knife, a ruler, and of course a strop. Just a handy little tip here. It's the tip of the blade uh, that takes most of the wear. Um, when you dig it into the cutting board, uh, it gets the most resistance from the nylon. And just above the tip is where the actual leather cutting takes place. So when you're stropping it, just give it a little bit of extra attention and you'll have something that cuts the leather really well. The next important thing to remember is to wipe the blade um, because often you will get uh, debris attached to it from the strop and if you push that into your leather it will actually mark it. So another handy tip here is to um, place your knife, tip of your knife blade on the line itself and then push your ruler to the blade and then make sure they're aligned at both ends and then you're going to have a really good straight line cut.
Handy little tip here if you're not so confident about uh, cutting round curves. What you can do is nibble your way around, um, putting the knife on the line and then just pulling it backwards. This is great technique for beginners. If you're feeling more confident, then just uh, cut round the line in one go. Okay, so the next bit what we're going to do is edging the leather with a uh, number two edge beveler. This will take off all the sharp corners ready for cross stitching. It'll also make the pouch look that much more professional. This is a number two edge beveler. Okay, a handy little tip here is when you start your edge beveling, start slightly up from the corner. Uh, this allows you to um, remove any little tabs that will remain once you've gone around the whole of the edge and come back to the start. As you can see here, as I go around the corner here and down the straight line, that's the little tab I'm talking about that I've just flicked out of the way. Obviously if I carry on with the um, beveling I can just cut it off at that point but when you start at a corner often as not it will not cut the thing off and you'll have to pull it off and then you might end up with a little bit of a furry tab at the end. But as you can see when I go around the corner here I'll actually be cutting it cleanly away. Okay, as we've seen, we've just flipped it over. So what we're not going to do is bevel the area. I've just shown you where the holes are. What we're after there is nice, clean, 90 degree lines uh, because the leather at this point will be butted together. So only bevel the bit I've just shown you here. To the stitching part of the build but first we have to thread our needle. We're using Ritza Tiger Thread 0.8 millimeter and there's a little tip here to make it easier to pass the thread through the eye of the needle is to pinch it as I'm showing you here and then it will be thin enough to easily slip through the eye. If you pinch it between your thumb so you can flatten the thread and then push it through the middle and then pull it down as I've just done there, you'll find that it locks the thread into place. 